Hello everybody, uh, my name is Mustafa and this is my presentation uh, on the videos on the summary of the paper Dynamic Graph CNNs for Learning on Point Clouds. Point clouds have become very common uh, in computer vision due to their uh, increase in the ca camera accuracy and the uh, expensiveness of point cloud cameras in, in the past few years. Uh, but point clouds are not inherently the same as 2D uh, images. And so although CNNs have become very popular and very strong for processing 2D images, um, applying uh, that type of processing to point clouds remains a key challenge. Uh, the paper uh, Dynamic Graph CNNs uh, tries to achieve CNN-based uh, performance and uh, features on the idea of on, on point clouds. And how this is accomplished is that um, this, the point clouds are transformed into graphs and once you turn into a graph then you can take the principles of convolutions uh, and apply them to the graphs themselves. And so this work uh, extends previous work done by PointNet um, but extends it in a way that local geometric information uh, is also incorporated uh, and this is done through graphs. Uh, and this operation of graph convolutions can be applied, applied repeatedly and has, has good effect and interesting results, uh, especially in regards to creating semantic relationships uh, between groups of points, even if their uh, Euclidean distance is large. Uh, it also achieves, achieves state-of-the-art performance on um, classification uh, and also achieves strong results in part segmentation. Uh, a bit of background before uh, going into the, the architecture of the network. Um, CNNs have existed for many years now, and the principle behind CNNs is that you take a small patch of your 2D, 2D image and you apply some type of kernel or filter. Uh, and through this operation, you're able to um, uh, accumulate a feature map of that uh, image. Uh, and and the, uh, using multiple filters, you're able to accumulate multiple feature maps. Uh, and so you're able to gather local inf pixel information and aggregate it to um, uh, achieve some types of uh, uh, feature processing. And so the same concept can be applied to graphs. Uh, if you take the nearest neighbors of a, cer of a certain point in a graph, uh, then convolutions can also be applied to the graph itself. And what this does is that you aggregate the information from local neighborhood points uh, and you aggregate it onto the point itself. And, and this creates a feature uh, point which is uh, essentially aggregates the information of the local neighborhood points. And in a broader uh, architectural setting, uh, this type of convolution can be applied uh, in similar ways to the convolutions in 2D images, where you apply the convolutions to achieve some type of feature maps, and you pool the information to uh, aggregate the data, and you continuously apply this type of convolution until you reach the very end where you can apply uh, typical ML, MLP style um, uh, layers uh, and achieving classification at the very end through a, a softmax. And so in this paper what happens is that uh, you have an input point cloud uh, and the, the paper introduces the idea of learning local edge embeddings of, of points. So given a, a point xi and uh, the nearest neighbor points xj, uh, you learn a, a, a network uh, parameters h but using the f function h where you're trying to learn the edge embeddings and after you lear learn the edge embeddings you can aggregate the edge embeddings back towards the point xi and so what this uh, architecture is going to accomplish is that each input um, point cloud uh, is going to uh, find local points and and you're going, to go, you're going to be able to apply convolutions and aggregate the results. Uh, and so in the overall architecture, what happens is that um, there are two main aspects. The first is what we've already seen in architectures such as PointNet, and that is the idea of a spatial transform. Uh, and so the spatial transform takes the input point cloud and converts it into a canonical pose. Uh, and, and this, uh, as proven in PointNet, is very important for standardizing or normalizing the point clouds. Uh, and this uh, point um, normalization is done through creating a k-nearest neighbor graph and estimating a 3x3 matrix that will allow you to 
uh, convert your point cloud to a canonical pose. After that, there's a series of edge conv operations. And these edge conv operations uh, take the, the principle that you're going to construct a k-nearest neighbor graph. Um, and from that k-nearest neighbor graph for the points, you're going to apply your convolution operation and pull the results back in, or aggregate the results. And through successive operations of edge conv, you're able to extract information from local points. And as you get higher up in, in, the, in the layers, then uh, the semantic points get pulled further, uh, closer and closer together. And so uh, in, uh, the idea here is that in higher uh, layers, the, um, the semantically closer points, so semantically similar points, will actually be closer in feature distance. And here they have two uh, separate architecture branches. One of them is specifically designed for classification, and another one is designed for segmentation. And uh, the main difference here is that uh, you'll notice the concatenation happens in different uh, areas uh, in both cases. Uh, but the overall idea is that for classification, you're going to output a single classification score for the different classes. Whereas for uh, segmentation, you're going to have a per point classification. For results, we notice that uh, this network achieves state-of-the-art performance in uh, classification. But the interesting thing here is that the state-of-the-art results, uh, when you compare it with the size and speed of the network, is actually ex extraordinarily uh, impressive. Uh, you'll notice that the size of the model and the time for inference is actually very small compared to PointNet++. And so we achieve state of the art performance while also keeping a very small model size. Some results on part segmentation, you'll notice that compared to point net, the parts themselves are very clearly defined and the, and the edges are, are, are very clear here and there's no overlap or bleed. When we look at uh, the results of the part segmentation for accuracy, uh, we notice that although there is not um, state-of-the-art in every category, we still have the same efficiency and the same speed gain. So we do achieve comparable results to state-of-the-art, uh, but maintaining the high uh, speed and low model size. Some results on indoor uh, scene segmentation. You'll notice again that compared to point .NET, uh, the, the segmentations are very clear, the edges are very well-defined. Uh, some interesting results uh, you'll notice is that distances in feature space um, actually show that as you get farther into the network, so here you'll notice that three columns uh, are later stages of the network, um, that sem semantically uh, sim similar things get closer to and closer in feature space. And this can actually seen, uh, be seen as well across different point clouds. So here you'll notice that uh, taking, taking a point cloud A and a point location uh, as seen by the red orb, even in very different point clouds, um, if you can actually compare uh, distances in feature space and find uh, similar point groupings in completely different point clouds. And so overall, we can notice that the principles of convolutions can be applied to point clouds by transforming the point clouds into these local graphs. Uh, the local information is captured in these local graphs. And the two interesting results that we see in this paper is that ac across large distances, um, we're still able to get semantic groupings. So semantically similar parts of the object will actually have a uh, closer distance in feature space uh, in later layers. We're also able to transfer those same distances in different ploy clouds and, and see the same semantic groupings. Some critiques or limitations. Um, the explanation of why the state of the art is not achieved in um, uh, the part segmentation is not clear, although we can probably uh, guess that this has to do with the small uh, model size compared to what the other models might be using. Uh, by focusing on edges, though, one clear limitation is that the relative positioning of the points themselves is sort of ignored or lost. And so we can also uh, look at this from a different angle, and we can say that we're also ignoring um, the deformations of local patches. 
And we, we also don't know exactly if the relationships in high-level feature spaces is robust or not. And this hasn't been answered accurately. So overall, to recap, this paper learns high-level information uh, from point, point clouds. And specifically, we apply the idea of convolutions to point clouds. Prior work did not incorporate local information in geometry. Uh, but by using graphs, we're able to uh, gather this local information. And we're able to dynamically reconstruct the graph uh, to produce strong results.